Racing is back in Memphis. A new collaborative effort aims to bring the sport back to the Bluff City and give young people another opportunity. Local 24 News reporter Mary Jo Ola is live in the studio with us tonight. Mary Jo. Yeah, Rudy, amateur athletes went toe-to-toe -to -toe at tonight's Boxing at the Pipkin. Organizers believe the physical sport teaches young people more than how to throw a mean hook. It's an intense sport that is as mentally demanding as it is physical, no matter if you are 10-year-old John Herring. Well, I like that it gets you in shape and you know how to defend yourself. Or 28-year-old Marcus Perkins. You can't get mad while you're in there fighting because you will lose your train of thought. So they'll learn how to control their anger. Boxing took over Memphis's Pipkin building Wednesday night, drawing hundreds of people ringside. Beneath the surface, local trainers, law enforcement, and city leaders believe the sport teaches important life skills. It teaches you discipline. It teaches you respect. Once the other guy hits you in the mouth, you know, you, you got to respect them. It teaches you to be calm. I had anger issues when I was young, so, <laughs> so I know how. The team of people here hope the sport and skills catch on with young people in Memphis. My main concern is just giving our children an opportunity to explore other positive avenues, okay? Instead of riding down the street, breaking in cars and what have you. This is something positive. And you know, you don't know what this may take a child. Ultimately, organizers want to make this a regular event and create a competitive boxing team for Memphis. Live in the studio, Mary Jaola, Local 24 News.